Hi, it's me, Mila Martinico, and today I am answering your restaurant questions. I first want to say my intent is to not offend anybody. Anyone who knows me knows my heart is for the people and that I love you and that the whole reason I started my restaurant was to share my culture and share my nonna's recipes and just feed you and love you. So it's never personal, I promise. I'm not, I promise you, I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm just Italian and passionate. So, okay, let's go with the first one. Chicken cutlets, that is all. I love chicken cutlets. I mean, if you don't like a chicken cutlet, I feel like you're not Italian, cause like they're freaking amazing. Um, we only have chicken cutlets once or twice a year. And the reason why is because when I started the restaurant, my nonu told me, always choose quality over quantity. And he told me, you know how you've been raised and always stay true to our values and how you know we cook for our family. So when it came time to decide if we wanted a fryer for the restaurant, um, I decided no, because I don't feed my family seed oils um, and I'm not gonna add a chemical into uh, like the oil to make it last longer. Now, over the last four years, everybody knows how bad inflation has been, um, and frying oil is ridiculous. That's why you go somewhere and you're like, this tastes like funky. Yeah, it's the fryer oil. That, it's just skyrocketed in price. So um, I didn't want to do that with um, chicken cutlets. So when we do it once a year, it's literally, I have three pans and I go by hand and I'm doing chicken cutlets. It's not that I'm dropping something into a fryer. Um, and I always do it in um, olive oil. So that's how my family's done it. And that's what I'll continue to do. Oh yeah, I also wanted to say that um, our specials are specials for a reason. When we do a special, we have to have like at least 60 or 70 of that special every single day that we're open. Um, and that's why we only do them on Fridays and Saturdays because um, it's a lot of work. So um, it's not like we can open and just have 20 specials. We have to have a lot of specials. And um, you know, that's why it's first come first serve and you know, we try our best. Dear Mama Mila, on behalf of the mamas trying to cut carbs and sugars, is there anything that you can add to your menu without them? We love you. I love you too. And there are plenty of times during the year I cut carbs and sugar. So we have like kind of a special secret menu. Um, here are a couple of options that you can do. You can get the gym salad, which is delish. Um, and it has bacon and smoked gouda and um, our brined, and then we fry it up in some oil, the chicken. Um, so it's like really tender and delicious. Um, and then, uh, it has garlic ranch and just ask for no croutons or our focaccia crumble. Um, that's a great low carb option. A lot of people who come in um, and do low carb want, they end up getting like a side of meatballs and a side of sausage um, with crack sauce and a salad. So that's a great option. And then also I made up this dish, which is like a Gemma, which is chicken, garlic, mushrooms, white wine, the cream sauce, and then I add um, extra chicken and sausage to it. So um, you still kind of feel like you're having pasta um, or you're having something that's like super decadent and you're like cheating but not cheating. Um, so I'll do that too. Um, but that's the options that I have for now. Like, you know, there's not enough people who order low carb to have like spaghetti squash or zucchini noodles or something like that. Um, who knows what time will tell. Let's see, what's the next one? Do you make all your food from scratch at the restaurant? <sighs> okay. I'm going to tell you this um, with the most humble heart possible because I, and I feel like I speak on behalf of other business owners. A lot of times I think to myself, you know what? I'm not gonna say anything because the Lord fights for me and you know, he'll show um, everybody my heart, my character and how the restaurant works, right? So there's these like pages, right? On Facebook, I heart blah, blah. If you heart your community, you're not a troll. 
So people go on there and they're like, all of her stuff isn't made from scratch because she doesn't make her own pasta. And do you see the bags of pasta in her kitchen? Da, 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 da. Let me lay some facts down for you, all right? This is how I run my restaurant because I am so true to um, the way that we eat and because I love my community, okay? During the last four years of inflation, all of our prices, even though food has gone up 40%, all of my dishes have gone up $1. You know why? Because it's more important to me to feed my community. Hi, Pearl. She knows I'm pissed. It's more important for me to feed my community and make sure that people can come to my place and feed their families and give them quality, good food than to make money off of you. In order for me to make all my pasta from scratch, I need to hire three people, more people, than the people that we have full time. I would have to spend almost $20,000 on a pasta machine. Riley's gonna insert a cute little picture of my nonna right here. This is the pasta machine that I grew up making pasta on. I was literally three years old, sitting on a bucket, and my nonna would tell me, that pasta, when it almost hits the ground, you're gonna pull it up and you're gonna put it on the tray, okay? It's not that I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, okay? But I can't afford that pasta machine. It costs as much as a new car. The pasta machine that my family has is 35 years old. It's as old as me. That's when they got that pasta machine, okay? Anyways, there are places that make their own pasta and are able to afford a pasta machine like this and afford to hire people like this. Oh, people come to me all the time and say, oh my gosh, I had pasta here and it was gummy, it was flavorless. Yeah, because they're not using good quality imported flour. That's a cost. More labor, that's a cost. The pasta machine in itself is a cost, okay? So all of those costs, I'm not gonna charge you $30 a plate for pasta because you're too good to have imported, organic, non-GMO, pasta. No, it's like, it's not right. You guys, at least for me, these are my personal convictions. You know, we're all allowed to believe what we want to believe. But for me, I would rather feed people food that they've never experienced and be able to pay my staff and just be able to pour into my community than to have some kind of bougie pasta. That being said, there's nothing wrong with whatever. I just don't, that's not my demographic, okay? It's not. And maybe one day, who knows? You know, I'm also working on something where I can make homemade pasta. We have homemade pasta as specials. They're specials for a reason because I can't do this. You have no idea how much pasta we go through. That being said, when you are in these groups that says, I heart Columbia, I heart Spring Hill, I heart Franklin, whatever, make sure you really heart it and you're not trolling it. Especially when you're talking about something that you have no idea what you're talking about. And you have no grasp on the reality of what it's like to be a business owner. Because we are the ones, these small businesses, we're the ones paying all these flipping taxes and all this bull crap while these corporations are doing whatever the heck they want. And it's not right, okay? And we're all over here trying to survive. And you'll go to a corporation that'll mess up your food 500 times and keep going. But if we have a bad day or we don't make our pasta from scratch, you're not going there. Rude. And stuck up. God dang, these, these freaking pregnancy hormones, man. I'm so angry. Like, you have no idea how hard we work. My poor staff, they worked so hard this weekend because we got hit and I'm so proud of them. And they work, they don't deserve to be trolled. I don't like that. Okay, hey, hey. do you need more china? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so angry. I am always taking china. Um, everybody knows that like when we opened the restaurant, like we literally opened it with nothing. And so um, people came and donated like their grandmother's china. And I think that it's something that is so special and um, so unique about my place is that you can come and like eat off the china that's been donated and you're literally eating off of somebody's nonna's plate. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I think it's beautiful. And so, yes, we are always taking China. Um, and cause you know, in the restaurant business, there's always a plate breaking here, here. I want you to know that, um, I've been keeping the scraps of the plates to make like a mosaic or something one day. So I have a box of plate scraps, um, cause I don't want to throw them away. That's kind of like hoarderish, I think a little bit, but I don't know. I want to do something with it one day. Um, but yeah, here's me answering your restaurant questions. Um, again, from the perspective of somebody who has a small business, who loves the community, most of all, who loves you and, you know, we'll keep you in check with reality. So if you have more questions, ask them. I'll answer. I love you. Tanti baci.